how overflows moment of awareness a single moment of awareness is enough it is fulfillment if you have lived the moment in awareness then nothing else is needed your life will be transformed you are creating the problem and the people who try to be aware almost always create problem the first thing awareness can only be of the moment the very idea that it should always remain that it should become a permanent state is erroneous and why we worried about the next moment the very idea of permanence is part of greed greed is part of unawareness so unawareness plays trick and creates a problem it is not out of awareness that the problem is coming instead the problem is emerging out of unawareness life is this very moment when the next moment comes in we will see this moment alone is enough be aware in this moment this very moment is total and when next moment you forget so be it be aware of your forgetfulness one has to be attentive even to one's inattentiveness there are moments when you are aware in those moments you are aware of awareness it is not a simple awareness instead it is complex you are aware of your awareness then there are moments when you are aware of your unawareness but awareness continues as a sub tratum you are aware and then unawareness comes in you are aware of that alone that means awareness is continuing like a subtratum undercurrent sometimes you are aware of your awareness and other times you are aware of your unawareness earlier you were not either of the two neither aware of your awareness nor aware of your unawareness but now once you have experienced a single moment of awareness in both cases you are aware and that is beautiful so whatsoever happens you remain aware yet choiceless sometimes you forget and nothing can be done to that there is no point in crying for the split milk that which is gone is gone if one moment has passed and you were not aware and later you become alert that this moment has gone and you were not aware do not waste any moment for it now because this other moment is passing now just be aware of it and why ask for permanence one person never gets two moments together you always get one moment and when that is gone another is another comes forward so you can remain alert in a single moment the moment comes one by one like a chain so you have to be concerned about the moment that is in front of you you are watching a television screen 
a scene comes in front of your eyes and when that scene disappears for a few seconds there is a gap but the gap is so infinitesimal that you cannot observe that then the next scene comes in the next moment comes in like that moments come in your life and you have to be aware of the moment aware in the moment when it is in front of you look at the clock watch in front of you the second hand is moving it starts from 12 slowly and slowly it moves no two moments no two opportunities come simultaneously 12 comes for a few seconds it is very precise then it disappears and when it disappears only the next moment comes in so if you can remain alert in one single moment that is enough whatsoever time will be coming in front of you your torch of awareness will be there asking for permanent awareness is as if you are going on a long journey a thousand mile journey in a single night and i give you a small torch and you see through this torch i can see only a few feet ahead the journey is very long 1000 miles how am i going to manage it is impossible this torch is too small when you are moving through the darkness intense darkness you use the torch light it gives it, it illumines only a certain distance in front of you and when you move to the point where the light has ended from there again the focus remains same focus may be of three feet or one feet or two feet it cannot change when first three feet you pass then another three feet gets illumined and that's how the journey goes on but i will tell you to go four five feet and then the torch will be falling four five feet ahead again just by a small torch you can move into the darkest night and one can go on and on covering a distance of thousand miles one single torch with a focus of three to four feet is enough there is no problem and if you start calculating and you sit down and put it on the paper and you see that the torch is only capable of lighting or illumining four or five feet alone and the journey is 1000 miles it seems impossible one moment of awareness is enough one moment is enough for your awareness then as the next moment comes be aware again your awareness is there another moment will be lighted then another then another and the process continues the whole eternity can pass in front of you why we worried about making it permanent i gave you certain examples that too is part of greed life is momentary let awareness also be momentary that is why buddha called his philosophy as chanik vad chanik means moment chan means moment chanik vad means the philosophy of the moment he said 
it is enough to be mindful of the moment. Only moment exists. All the rest is imagination. So the past is gone. If you missed, you missed. Forget about it. Care for the one that is in front of your eyes. There is no need to worry. The future has not come. There is no need to bring it in. Just look at the moment that is passing right now. A parade is passing on the street. So a certain person comes in front of your eyes. It is a continuous process. Then that goes forward. Next one comes. Like that, life goes on. Just look at the moment that is passing right now in front of you and look with awareness. Still you will miss many times, but nothing is wrong in it. When you miss, just know with full awareness that you missed. And that is all. By and by, you will miss less and less. Just take a simple note, observe it, and be finished. Go ahead. But these observations, more and more awareness will be happening. By these observations, more and more moments of awareness will be happening. And I'm not talking about permanent. I am saying more because more has a depth. Awareness is going to remain of the moment alone. It can be shallow, it can be deep. That is a totally different dimension. It will become more and more deep, more and more deep. It will become so deep one day that whatsoever comes in front of your eyes will be lighted well, illumined. But do not think in terms of permanence. It can become eternal but not permanent in any way. Permanence is a part of time. And life is beyond time. But we are, we always think of making things stable. For if something is fleeting, we become worried. Then we think, what is the point of making so much effort? And it is gone. Gone again. So simply drop the worry. Indeed, awareness is the key word and the key question as well. If you cannot, if you can open it, you have found the master key. It opens all the locks. No other question is necessary then, but never make it agreed. It will come on its own. When it comes in, rejoice and live that moment. This moment will unfold into the next moment when I speak on what is unawareness. Enough for now.